Katie's Precious Angels Reborn Nursery. Hi guys, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a little bit of a random vlog, but I just wanted to come on and chat with you guys. First, I am going to uh, do some videos, probably just some little clips of some of my babies since I have not showed my reborns in a while. But I wanted to update you guys a little bit. I've been going through it, you guys. I have been going through it this last week or so. Once again, my eyes started going crazy. So I went to see my MS specialist. And he sent me to a regular eye doctor. He ordered me to take 1,000 milligrams of steroids once a day for 10 days. But my insurance wouldn't pay for it. So... He sent me to a regular eye doctor, they said because it was such a high dose, which I don't know why he ordered such a huge dose anyways, because the last time he did, <clears throat> the last time he, he um, ordered such a high dose, I called him and said, "There's I took it once and I felt like I couldn't breathe, so I had to lower the dose. So I'm not sure why he um, added even more this time. A thousand milligrams of steroids is a lot of steroids. It's crazy, you know. So anyway, so, but that's no big deal. My insurance wouldn't cover it. So he said, just wait till I go to the doctors because um, even the pharmacist was like, that is a very, very high dose. So I don't know. I, I am to the point of um, I'm probably going to be changing. Um, I want to get an MS specialist instead of just a neurologist because... Anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. Anyway, so he sent me to an eye doctor, a regular eye doctor. And he took one look at my eyes and said, oh, no, you need to go see a specialist surgeon eye doctor. You definitely have inflammation behind your eyes. So waited another six days, and I went to see him yesterday. He done a bunch of tests on my eyes and said, yes, your eyes are worse since the last time you was here. And um, you definitely have more inflammation behind your eyes. That's why your um, vision is worse. Um, and we talked about some things. He put me on four drops of steroid eye drops a day. And then he also said we need to do um, steroid shots in my eyes. And you guys, I am not kidding. When he said that, my heart went to my toes. So yes, I got uh, shots in my eyeballs to try to kickstart getting my eyes better. I had never tried this before, so hopefully this is going to take it completely away. Because since I found out I had MS a little over a year ago, my eyes have never fully cleared up. They did clear up for the most part, but not fully. So I'm hoping maybe um, this will kickstart it into um, clearing completely up. Uh, so yeah, guys, so that's what's going on with that. Um, actually, they numb it first. So the only thing I felt was the stick. I did feel it stick into my eye. But once this, once it was in there, it didn't hurt. So it's actually not that bad because it was numbed at first. But oh, just the thought of it. Uh, because when stuff comes towards your eye, you know, clearly your natural reaction is to shut your eye. So... Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to kind of update you on that. I haven't been feeling really well. Um, also, my MS doctor, when I went to see him before he sent me to the eye doctors, um, it's so annoying because I told him that I'm very depressed because all I'm doing is sleeping because of the MS flare. <clears throat> and I, I said, please listen to me. I am not depressed for anything other than this MS flare is making me sleepy. And the literally, literal first thing that he did was added a, added a, um, another, on top of the ones I'm already on, antidepressant. And I tried to get him to understand, I am not depressed and sleeping a lot, or I am not, um, sleeping a lot because I'm depressed. It's the other way around. I am depressed because I'm sleeping a lot. You know what I mean. You know, maybe. I talk backwards, guys, you know. Um, anyway, so yeah, in this video, I'm going to um, show you the uh, where I'm at. I'm working on four bald womb babies right now. One is a giveaway baby. The other three are custom baldies, little womb babies. And we're getting there, but I cannot show you the three that are not, 
the giveaway. I can show you the giveaway one because um, she's just choosing for it to be a womb baby. She already knows what the sculpt is because when I did the giveaway, um, I showed the sculpt. So I can show that one, but um, it won't be long and I'll be putting these four in their wombs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys that and then maybe I'll show you some other things since you haven't seen my babies in a while. Um, also, I... My mom recently uh, found me some, um, she was at Goodwill, and they had a uh, little cart thing of a bunch of human hair. And you guys know that for reborns, you can use human hair, mostly on toddlers because human hair is thicker than mohair. So, um, what you guys know, human hair is very, very expensive. But there was, I know that there's like four or five packs of 100% uh, real human hair because they was like uh, I think she said she paid 15 a piece for them which that's actually pretty cheap um, and then there's some other kind of hair in there and I'm thinking it might be synthetic but I, I uh, wanted to see if you guys could like help me with that because it doesn't really say on the package um, but it is very very it's very soft and um, it's like a certain kind of curl type of hair. I think it would look absolutely beautiful on any toddler reborn. Um, any color. That's just me personally. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you that in this video. Also, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. I am doing okay. I really want to get back to doing my videos. I'm sorry I haven't been doing a lot of just my little random videos. I just... Uh, I just need things to get back to normal. And they will. They will. They have to at some point, you know. So, but yeah. All right. Let's get on to the other stuff. All right. I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys in just one second. <laughs> so, here is the giveaway reborn that I am working on. Um, she does got some more layers. I'm getting ready to work on skin tone. I still have to do, um, later when I'm done painting her, I still have to do um, her second or third layer of her eyebrows. I think I still got one layer on her lips to get them correct because I don't just paint baby's lips one color. I always use three or four different colors because our lips are not one color. Um, I have done one creasing. I may do one more creasing layer on this sweet baby. Um, we'll see. Um, but yeah, she's coming along really, really cute. And the mommy does want this baby in a womb. So now remember, there's no blushing on her yet either. I have not done her blushing or any of her small details. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this sweet girl. I can't show you the ones around her because that it's three other womb babies. The only reason I'm showing this giveaway womb baby is because um, the mommy that won her in my giveaway knows what sculpt it is. She just de decided that she wanted it as a womb baby. So coming along super adorable. Um, it won't be much longer now. Um, I finally got the Saskia that I was rooting out. So now I'm just focusing on these four little bald womb babies. So they should be going out within the next month. So yeah. Super cute, and you guys will see these babies, obviously, after they are with their mom, you will see finished products of them. And yeah, they are super cute, coming along amazing. Actually, I wonder if I have, hold on one second. Okay, I wanted to go ahead and check my camera. I got this new camera, and I had soft skin effect on, and I don't want that on when I'm showing my Reborns, because it literally blurs out the details on the baby so oh I can't show that one so yeah I went ahead and turned off um, that on this baby because you couldn't you know it softens the features and takes away any things that it think is blemishes when it could just be the baby's details so I don't know how much it really changed it but um, yeah these new cameras can do all sorts of things and I clearly want my babies to come across as they truly are not you know, so I just wanted to check my camera real quick and make sure. But yeah, she's super cute. And like I said, I still got a little bit to go, but not a ton, not a ton. So 
yeah, soon these four womb babies will be going out soon. They are all bald. So um, you guys know uh, the thing that one of the things that takes me the longest in reborning is the rooting. So these four little baldies will be headed out very soon. And like I said, you will absolutely see them once they are with their mommies. I will show the videos of them and them in clothes and them in their womb and them going in the womb and all of that stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this sweet girl really quick. Um, I probably will show this girl uh, after I get her blushing and stuff on, but I'm not going to show her fully, like fully done, until she is with her mom also, just because I want her mom to be able to be somewhat surprised. Like I said, this was a giveaway baby. I had to put it um, on the back burner for a while um, because I had customs to work on. You guys know my MS kind of took me out for a little bit, so I couldn't work. I had to work on just my customs, so... But yeah, she is super cute and she's coming along great. I'm going to be working on some skin tones and um, some blushing. And yeah. And I think she's turning out adorable. So yeah. All right, now I'm going to show you guys this hair that my mom got me. Um, quite a few of them are, uh, like I said, are 100% um, human hair. But this other hair, I'm not sure about. So maybe you guys could help me and maybe I could still use it. I, I'll use it for a toddler for me for sure. I love the curls in it. I think it's beautiful. Um, but maybe I could, you know, if somebody wanted this hair, they could just pay a little bit less than like for the human hair or the mohair. But for the human hair, my mom paid like $15 a piece for the packets of uh, real human hair. You guys know that stuff is very expensive. So they had it in a, the, the real human hair they had in a case. This other hair, I'm not sure if it's real or not. So, all right, let's check that out. Okay, ladies, so now I want to talk to you guys about this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five packages of these hair. Um, now, first, I want to say I have no idea, no clue about hair. Um, not uh, any type of hair. Not um, Caucasian hair, not AA hair, um, not biracial hair. So I'm pretty stupid on this subject. So I hope nobody gets upset with me uh, about how I uh, speak about it. I literally have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to hair, especially like extensions or any of that type of stuff. So I want to make that clear first. So if you ladies, any of you ladies could help me out, I would truly appreciate that. So my mom picked these up for me, and this is called Upscale. This one was $17.99. It's very, very pretty, um, very soft, long hair. And um, this one is for sure, uh, where did I see that? 100% human, tangle-free, shed-free. I know it's on here. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Human hair. So we have that one. And like I said, mom paid $17.99. And I'm going to use these for toddlers, guys. Not little babies. Just because human hair for little babies don't work out right. And then the next one is 100% human hair. Mom paid $15 for this. And it is shorter. It's a darker brown. I don't really have questions about um, this human hair. Because I know you can use um, very nice, get back jacks, very nice human hair for toddler reborn dolls. So, and also I'm still going to use um, mohair for toddlers too. This is just for people if they wanted human hair on their toddlers. So here's that one. And this one was $15 that mom picked up. And then we have this one, which is a very light brown Brownish blonde color, 100% human hair. Guys, I've always wanted extensions in my hair. I've just never had anybody do it. I also, at one point, wanted to, um, oh, what are them called? I'm going to blank on them. Dreadlocks. I really, really wanted dreadlocks. But I want, this, don't take this wrong, please. I want the nice dreadlocks. I don't want, I've seen very, very nice dreadlocks done. And then I've seen dreadlocks that looks all matted and ratted. I don't want the matted and ratted ones. I I want, like, nicely 
Maybe I'm talking about braid. To, I don't know what I'm talking about, honestly. But I've always kind of wanted to do something like that with my hair. I've just never had anybody that could do it or, you know, I think it would be cool. Or even just extensions I've never had done. So here's this one. This is the light, um, like a, it's like a sandy, a, a very light brown or a dark blonde. <clears throat> and then the last two are a medium brown. And this is 100% human hair. And yeah, so I got two of them and them are the same things. Wait, oh, mom got these for a dollar. That's human hair. Oh, wow. So they must have just had a bunch of these and that's why they was trying to get rid of them or something. But they're brand new packages. So I'm going to use them either for uh, toddlers for other people, if people's wanting human hair, or I'll just use them for me. I have only done one human hair baby and that was my sister's uh, baby toddler. And that human hair cost me so much money because, you know, I ordered it online because I wanted real human hair. Okay, now these other ones, guys, I am, I don't know, remember, I don't know anything about these, okay? So if you do, let me know. But I will say this, they are very soft. So there's four packages, three of them are the same. Three of them are this. And it's very curly, but it is so soft. It almost feels softer than the human hair ones, which is crazy. But nowhere on here does it say human hair, guys. So if you have any idea, but look at them curls. And it's not, it's not, and it's like, see, there's a piece sticking out. And you can break up the curl. It's not like it just stays as one curl. Like it's actually hairs. So I don't know, maybe if you could... So I don't know if it's just synthetic. Now, my mom only did pay $3.99 a piece for these. But I thought that this would look beautiful on any toddler, any race toddler. I think it will look absolutely beautiful on them big ringlet curls. But like I said, this does break up. It doesn't have to stay, you know, you don't just push the this big curl in there. Obviously, you would break it up and it would still have that ringlet curl. But yeah, I don't think that this is human. So, um... Because it doesn't say it is anywhere, but I think it's really pretty, and I'm glad my mom picked it up for me. So, if you know anything about it, let me know. Um, yeah, I think this one, there's there's three of the brown. It's like a, a medium brown, and then this one right here is black. The one that's got some sticking out is black. Look at that ringlet curl. I love it. I think it would look really cute. So... Yeah, that's the hair, guys. Um, if you guys know anything about it, because I'm clueless on this stuff, just let me know. Um, of course, if I use this on somebody's reborn, I would um, charge them less than if I used the real human hair, obviously, because clearly not as expensive. Still quite a bit to get a baby rooted, though, especially a toddler, because it takes so long to root no matter what kind of hair you're using. But yeah, so of course I would always be honest and let them choose what they wanted. Rather mohair, real human hair, or this hair. Which I'm thinking it might be synthetic, but Jesus, it's so soft. So I don't know. I have no idea. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what my mom picked up. Show you the human hair I got. And yeah. Also, I wanted to show you this. I bought this a long time ago when I did my Uncle Mike's fairies. Now, I do know this is synthetic hair. And when I feel this synthetic, this is all different colors of uh, beautiful colored synthetic hair. But when I touch this and I touch this, these are way softer than this synthetic hair. So that tells that, that makes me wonder if this is synthetic because this feels so much more plasticky synthetic -y than these four. So that's why I'm kind of confused. But these are really pretty to use in like little fairy babies or, you know, I did little piggy tails. I think it was on my Uncle Mike's or Cole's fairy baby. And I bought a bunch of different colors. I bought this a long, long time ago. But that is definitely synthetic. So yeah. All right, guys, just let me know if you know anything about it. I just, I don't know. This literally almost feels softer than human. So it's it's so weird. I'm going to push that back in there because I don't want it to get ruined. But yeah, all of these are brand new. And my mama 
picked them up. She was at Goodwill, not this. This was I bought this online a long time ago. But yeah, she got all these for me. And if nothing else, I'll use them down the line for toddlers for family or friends or I mean the human hair I'll absolutely use for um, custom babies. But I don't know. I really like this stuff. I think I'm going to make a toddler for myself down the line when I get a chance. I have no time to make babies for myself right now. I would like a little baby with some of these ringlet beautiful curls. I think they're really pretty. All right, guys. So that is all for the hair talk. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of the video or not. Um, yeah. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.